Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shop bringing you another gameplay video. My opponent with the Sean Taylor Mutt Master card. Uh, I'm still trying to get that card, man. Believe, believe me, it's uh, I'm not that far off. I think my biggest issue is going to be squad games, uh, which I might actually put out. Uh, probably my Facebook group. So if you guys uh, want to play a game with me, join my Facebook group now because in a little bit of time, I'm probably going to be hitting people up in the Facebook group um, to get the, what is it, 25 wins you got to get for squad games? That's probably my biggest uh, challenge. That'll be the last thing that I complete, but I will get that Sean Taylor. Uh, that Sean Taylor card at some point this year. So here we go. We got a little gameplay video for you. Uh, we got the Dallas team on the other side. This guy here is Dallas murdered out. He has Ezekiel Elliott, uh, the Dak Prescott, who I like to call Suck Prescott. Um, he's got the, uh, he's got, uh, later on I think I see, he's got a whole Dallas team. Like, he must have the chemistry, like, maxed out. Uh, plus the jerseys and all. Uh, third and 17, though, we're getting some work done as we're pushing this dude back. And then he goes up and gets Michael, uh, that's probably Michael Irvin. Like I said, he also has the Michael Irvin card, who must be pretty good. I gotta check him out. I mean, he, he's doing work in this game. So I don't even know how he came up with that catch. That catch is ridiculous. So here we go. Ezekiel Elliott. I like Ezekiel Elliott. Don't be wrong. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Dallas hater, but I'm a realist. And Ezekiel Elliott is a monster. He was a guy I actually wanted Eagles to get uh, before we trade up and got uh, Carson Wentz. As you can see, he runs in for the score there. That was just like, man, dude's are whiffing. He ran it away from the blitz. Good for him. Good play. Uh, but now it's my turn to put in work. Uh, so first and 10. This play right here, you're going to see this play quite a bit. I use this play a lot uh, because it's really hard to stop. And you can see there I get uh, Ladanian Thompson with the catch. My Ladanian Thompson is up to like a 92 now, I think. Uh, I'm almost, you know, I'm kind of behind, but I'm almost getting him to the point where he's maxed out. He'll probably release some new uh, levels at some point too. So I got to get caught up. So here we are. We're rolling out. This is my one play touchdown. And I don't know what happened there, but he really didn't get the ball out there. Luckily, Randy Moss is the best receiver in this game um, if you got Calvin Johnson I hate to say it but Calvin Johnson he's crap compared to Randy Moss and I know some people on Facebook group once again um, that are straight up telling me that too so it's not just me um, he, he, he's not all that I still got to put out a uh, gameplay video of him by the way uh, where he was totally screwing me left and right so second and eight we're taking off with Vic uh, that was not the plan, but you know what? That's why you got a quarterback like Michael Vick. I've been messing around with Mariota, the 93 uh, Mariota that you, you needed to get to Calvin Johnson. And he's been doing pretty good. So at some point, I want to I want to use him quite a bit. Uh, Michael Vick is just the man, though. So here we are on defense. You can see we're, we're doing pretty good on defense. We're, we're definitely getting, uh, you know, I don't want to say we're shutting it down. But third and three, got a good feeling about this. Um, he's rolling out. You know what I'm saying? Dak Prescott, man, that's just a weird animation. You can see my dude underneath. Um, had like a decent position and he would just like when I hit triangle to catch it He just like slid out of the way. I don't even know what that was about. So first and ten um, He's still doing work. He's still plowing. You can see man. I can see like even his linemen I think I saw Travis. I think his center might be Travis Frederick. Like he's got the full Cowboys going right now. So here he hits me in the flats five for five for, for Dak Prescott That's how you really want to use Dak Prescott. He's a dink and dunk uh, type of quarterback, run with the ball type of quarterback. I don't really think, uh, from what I hear anyway, I've never really used him, but from what I hear, he's not too great uh, throwing the ball uh, deep, even though he beat me with one of those earlier. You can see there, I used that middle perfectly. There was nothing there. There was crossing routes. He wanted to go to one guy, and then I, I switched off right at the right time. He got, took the sack. So fourth and ten, he's punted away, but you know what? That's a beautiful punt. This guy, you're going to see quite a few pin deeps uh, between me and this guy right here. Here I try to get it out. Just a little bit of breathing room. I flip it out to Tony Gonzo, uh, who's been my tight end for the longest he's been my tight end since uh since um halloween and i'm not getting rid of him he's just as about as good of a tight end as you can get i guess um you know without you know i guess i don't know they need to release an, an updated version of like a better tight end i don't know i think shannon sharp just came out who knows but i don't feel a need so there i actually throw it to him again he doesn't catch it third and seven we're going to try to get it out to gonzo we're trying to get a catch and run there and that was just way too conservative so i gotta punt the ball away you can see i actually meant to punt the ball away and i'm going to show you why i accidentally hit the uh the fake punt and you can see here by the fact that i'm moving the meter over to try to get a coffin corner if i knew this was not a fake punt i wouldn't do that next thing i'm dropping back i'm like oh shit so I try, so I try to throw. I see a guy make a quick read, but you know what? He doesn't have the arm. Like I tried to throw it out there, but it's a punter, so he doesn't have, doesn't have the arm for it. So that really screwed me over. Now he gets the ball inside the twenty, inside the red zone, and uh, I'm sending the house, and he just beats me over the top. No, God, please, no, no. 
Michael Irvin again, man. That dude keeps showing up. So first and goal. No! Really shoot myself in the foot. Like I said, I'm saying the house again, expecting a run, and it's just an easy touchdown. Like I said, he's got Travis Frederick. He's got everybody. He's straight Dallas murdered out right now. So I'm going to roll out, try to get this one-play touchdown, and it was there, but that under-pressure sign must have screwed it up because he was there, man, just like a foot away from getting that one-play touchdown. It's all good, though. Second and 10. Uh, we're going to go to back a little bit of a drive starter, and the ball was just stuck in my hand, man. I was trying to throw it to the back. Things are not going my way. Small, little, you know, this is a game of inches, and those inches are working against me right now. Third and 19, though, we're going to get those inches this time. As you can see, we just dot it up on the sideline. Great safe catch by uh, by Carter, Chris Carter. He is just – I wish they'd release an updated version of Chris Carter. You know what I mean? At some point, that would really be nice. <laughs> but until then, uh, he's still a really good receiver. Uh, so here we are, first and 10. We're trying right that same play, going right to that, back to that same spot. And that was covered just as good as it was the first time, honestly. The first time it was covered pretty good. So, I don't know, I tried to get lucky twice. So here we're going to get out to, to the uh, to the sideline. And man, what is going on? Like, come on, man. Where are the hands, bro? So third and 10, going back to that one-play touchdown. We were trying to roll to the left, but you know what? That was covered, so we're going to the right. And I couldn't get that first down, so we're going to go for it. Fourth and inches. Didn't plan on running it, but when I came out and I saw that he didn't really come out too big, I figured, you know, Earl Campbell can get that first you know what i'm saying that guy's a, a monster if you can't get inches with earl campbell just just take the game back to, to GameStop or whatever first and ten we're running the ball again i don't have i have one time or two timeouts my bad i don't have a lot of timeouts he's thinking that i'm probably not going to run you can see he's got everybody back not a lot of down linemen or linebackers so i'm going to try to take advantage of it so i'm trying to run a hurry up here hoping that he would either call timeout but i know he's not going to call timeout based off of the the time allotted there's only 30 seconds left so i know he's probably not going to do that but i'm going to try to get a nice big run uh, before, um, you know, he can do anything about it. And then, you know what? It gets to a point where I was like, that was a mistake. I just burned like 20 seconds that I really didn't have. So one time I left, I get a little bit, um, you know, trying to force stuff now because I know I really only need, uh, you know, I'm basically in field goal range, but I think I'm thinking in terms of a touchdown. This play right here, this is not even a play. This is not a money play I've ever designed. I'm totally making this up as I go. And he just gets a free blitzer right off the edge, and I'm screwed. So I call a timeout. You know, this is basically punt or kicker. <laughs> this is basically punt territory now or try to get a touchdown. So we roll out for this one play touchdown. So no big deal. Basically just a punt. And then for whatever reason, for some reason, I thought he was going to throw the ball here. And in the last second, I decided to blitz my middle linebacker. <laughs> Knocks the ball out and scores with within a step. That just happened. Like that was a total gift. Like I said, all I did was blitz Ray Lewis, and he just completely made a play for me. So he basically gives me a huge gift, puts me right back in this game. Not that I was out of the game, but 14-14 now. Second half, I get ball. Second and ten. Um, you know, I told you guys about Ray Lewis too. I, I got to get a little bit more. I'll get a little more, more love on that play. That was one of the nastiest plays I've seen in a minute. But to me, Ray Lewis, if you need a middle linebacker, to me he's the best middle linebacker in the game. I don't know what he's costing right about now, but he, it's got to be down quite a bit. So here we go, third and seven. Uh, that that he was just sending that. That the guy was streaking free, so I had to hit him. Uh, second and ten, first play, I get nothing. Uh, so I'm going to show you the second and ten. We're going to do that nice safe catch. If you guys don't safe catch, that's really important. Um, so you can see there, Tony Gonzalez. He's just he's just such a good tight end. I, like I said, I don't know when I'm really going to have to upgrade over Tony Gonzalez. He's going to be here for a while. So second and two, uh, we're basically you know this this play right here. This is we're, we're making it look like it was supposed to be the uh, the pass to the flats we've been using quite a bit but i'll go ahead and I'll fake him out hit him with the run campbell's doing a really nice job man i, I went back to him for a little bit just to check him out um see if i can get away with using him instead of Bo. um and he's just making plays man he's still he's still a monster gets me down to the six uh now first and goal we had a penalty so first and goal and you know what like i said man earl campbell he is just so good like he has the, he still has the ability to do everything i need him to do and like i said i'm just thinking about it like do i need Bo that 500k that he's worth um, it's just kind of in my ear. <laughs> so here we go. He's trying to flip it out to the flash. Now, like I said, that's kind of Dak Prescott's comfort zone. Anyway. His character, his avatar plays just like him uh, in real life. A, a guy that's, I mean, he has a decent deep ball. I ain't trying to make too much uh, make too much about it. But realistically, I think he's best utilized in uh, in quick, short passing. Um, and that's exactly what he's doing here. He's third and nine, almost get the pick. So he's going for it on fourth and nine. I can't say that I agree with this decision. I mean, realistically, you have three minutes and 40 seconds left. I know it's the fourth quarter, but you can get the ball back if you make a play. If you miss it here, you basically lose the game with four minutes left. And sure enough, he does. He tries to throw it to Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin puts it on the ground, uh, or my, my safety gets a piece of it. And that's, like I said, pretty much game. I mean, I'm to the point now with this amount of time left, 
I'm just doing some safe play calling. Uh, you know, like right here, I probably could have forced it, but you know what? Even a sack keeps the clock running. So that's really my game plan. Here we're gonna do another. We're setting up for another nice safe pass to the outside. Um, I actually wanted to step up there a little bit, but I saw a guy in front of me, and that's fine, man. This this field goal right here can essentially put the game out of reach with three minutes left, two possessions with this amount of time. It makes it really hard on my opponent, but I promise you, this guy gives me a game either way. So, like I said, ten points. He's rolling out. This play here looks a lot like a play that I run. It might be the play, <laughs> for all I know. And he just makes a really nice big play. I, I almost let him get a touchdown on that, which uh, which would have been crazy. Definitely would have made this game, uh, you know, right where he needed it to be. So uh, first and ten. Like I said, that play. I think I actually put that play out. I know which play that is now. So first and ten. He's going to run it again. Um, he, he's you know rolling out to the other side now, and I get a nice. I thought I had a nice user sack. Look at that man, Jesus. And he Dak Prescott, man, that was just a crazy animation. I don't know how he got out of that. Uh, first and ten. This guy's trying to make the comeback of a lifetime right now. He's throwing it to the sideline once again. Same play, trying to get to that running back. That is his playmaker, uh, but he didn't get it. Second and ten. Uh, here I'm dropping back. I, I, you know, I, that was that was probably my guy right there. I didn't stick with him. I'm, I'm watching for the deeper routes because I know realistically the faster he scores, the worse. So if he wants the dink and dunk, he can do that. Shit is that? There, I jump underneath for a nice user that doesn't happen. Uh, to, you know, the game screw me a little bit, but nothing too serious. And then second and ten, he throws it to the playmaker and he gets the touchdown. But it all comes down to this: it's all about this onside kick. Can he get it? No, that's right. There's no onside kicks happening today. No miracles today, bro. But I know he still has a timeout and two minutes left, so I still pretty much have to get a first down. So my play calling is really with that in mind. So I'm trying to, to, to roll out and get it to my running back, but I get sacked. Like I said, no big deal. Clock still keeps running. Second and 17, we're going to step up. Like I said, I want to keep the, the play clock going. If I only didn't try to truck air, I would have, if I probably would have had the first down, there would have been game over. But third and one, like I said, one play away. Uh, he thinks that I'm going to go inside. You can he pinched the line last second and then you know Earl Campbell he can make those outside runs just as much as he can make those inside runs and that's it that's the quitter right there he doesn't even let it take he doesn't even let me run off the minute he just goes straight to the quit button pulls the ripcord and that's it if you guys want to see more gameplay footage do me a favor hit the like button I'll do that other than that thanks for watching Madden Money Shut Out more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below